Hi, this video shows how we can pass parameters between two different screens in our systems. Here uh, we are in our system service studio. I have built a reactive web application that has one module. Uh, the module contains some entities with their attributes in. Uh, to show you how we can pass the parameters, what I'll do is build a listing and detail screen for suppliers. So to do that, I'll switch to interface, create a screen. I'll use blank just so you can see how to build screens from scratch. Uh, I'll name it suppliers. That's going to be the listing screen. Let's give it a title also so we can identify it. And to build the listing, I'll just drag and drop the suppliers. Okay, so the list is here. Uh, the idea is when I click on any of these uh, names of the suppliers, when I click on them, it shows the details. Okay, so even though I can do it quickly by right clicking on the first element, like first row of this list and link it to a new screen, that automatically does the, uh, you know, uh, uh, parameter passing. Uh, but I want to show you in detail of how this happens. So basically what I'll do is separately, I'll create a screen, the detail screen, and this time it is the details. Same blank template. We go in, we display the supplier name here, like one individual supplier, the title. Now on the details page, if you see here, we have the flexibility of adding input parameters. In this case, let's add one for supplier ID okay the moment I named it ID supplier ID platform help me by identifying is at the supplier identifier okay so which is very helpful by using the supplier identifier I can fetch data from database and look for that particular supplier so inside this aggregate first of all let's track supplier and we don't need all suppliers we need only one specific whose ID we have on the page so we'll say supplier.id is equals to the local, the input parameter supplier ID, which is this icon, right? And now we only have one supplier there. With this, if we go back, perhaps, first of all, we can display the supplier ID next to the supplier number. So the ID will be shown there. And second thing is, uh, maybe we can have a form to edit the details of supplier. So I'll use the form container and put the whole supplier by uh, ID inside that form container and it builds me the form as well. I'll just double click on the save button to so that it creates the placeholder there. I'm not going to specify what happens in there. But basically this is how we can pass the parameters. Okay. Now with this supplier ID being here, what is left for us to do is go back to the supplier's listing page. And from here, if I select the first element and right click, I can now link it to the supplier details okay the moment I do that you see there's an error now the error is something that is pointing to that parameter we just created so in the error it's pointing out that we require to pass the supplier ID because we made it a input parameter on the destination page okay so if I minimize this and here if you see on the side I can pass the ID platform is again giving suggestions which is very helpful and this will work out by the way, in case you need to pass additional parameters, there is no limit. For example, on the details page, I can add maybe a time, okay? And immediately on the other side, it will become an input parameter. So if I select the link, you see now the time also has been added, which maybe I can pass current date time and publish the application. Let's see the results. So the app is being published at the moment, code, application, and it's ready. Let's find it out. So we have the supplier list, uh, the first column where the names are, they are the links. If I click on it, I can see the supplier ID with one and the details in there. If I go back, maybe I'll pick up one from the bottom, supplier ID six, and these are the details. Thanks for watching.